The Kayapos are the toughest warriors of the Amazon. Well known as guardians of the jungle, they have fought and hunted since time immemorial and bravely defended their territory from the white invaders. Their traditional weapon is the borduna, a kind of wood club they use to kill even the fiercest animal in the forest, the jaguar. They live along the Iriri and Shingu rivers, which are populated by an amazing diversity of fish species. The crystalline waters of the Iriri River flow through a gigantic granite plateau, forming runs and rapids, braids and lagoons, which provide habitat for at least 10 different species that will take a fly. Kenjam is one of the most isolated Kayapo Indian communities. It is located at the headwaters of the Iriri River, within the Mekrangnoti indigenous territory, a huge protected land of more than 5 million hectares. Kenjam means standing stone, alluding to a granite hill that rises just behind the community. As in all Kayapo villages, the huts form a circular perimeter. In the center of the community is the House of the Warriors, where the most important meetings and festivities take place. The Kayapo paint their bodies daily to protect themselves from the sun and insects, but mostly out of a strong ritual sense. The Kenjum community embrace the idea of a fly fishing project, not because they need help protecting their land, something they have done independently for centuries, but for another equally important goal. To provide young Kayapos a sustainable activity that enables them to remain on their land and to carry the traditional Kayapo culture forward for future generations. We began this journey with some trepidation entering a land once forbidden to white men and fishing an unknown river. We decided that we would float the Iriri River in rafts to fish their most distant waters and to place some out camps far downstream. But in Kayapo land, you have to go through the ritual of painting before you start fishing.
you think about the Amazon, most people think they're coming to this great big river. It's gonna be muddy and you know, you're casting blind and you know, fishing for catfish, a lot of people think, but the Riri River here is absolutely crystal clear, gorgeous, small. I've been waiting, we can cross just about anywhere we want and we're sight fishing to some beautiful fishes. Diversity here is the most incredible thing. Um, you can fish the same spot all day and catch all kinds of fish from dry flies for paku, um, using your five weight, all the way up to fish that you want to cast for your nine weight. All kinds of fish close to you, far away, delicate presentations, aggressive wolf fish that you can catch right in front of you. The float was an extraordinary experience, but soon we found out that the real deal was walking and wading, chasing and hunting fish, like the Kayapo did here for centuries. Following the banks of the river, casting towards the rocky edges of the pools, wading relentlessly upstream, we began to feel the ancient rhythm of the jungle, quietly reverberating against the dark stones. A song that whispers stories of great hunts, wars, and loves. Stories already lost, but still living in the murmur of water. be forged between the Kayapo and the fly anglers. We cannot assure it. But one thing is certain. We share the same veneration and joy for all the life that pulses in these waters. Mm -hmm. 